this last week has been huge for AI in terms of AI video generation. You know, earlier this year we had OpenAI Sora. Now we have tools like Kling from China, and we also have a new tool, Luma AI's Dream Machine. And this tool is free and available to the public right now. We're gonna dive right in. All right, so if you didn't see recently, OpenAI's biggest quote unquote Sora competitor or rival um, is the Chinese AI model Kling, which creates videos with apparently more accuracy, some people are saying. And you can, you know, I'm not going to dive too, too in depth into that in this video. This is more about Dream Machine, but we can see here, um, you know, some, uh, some videos from Kling, very high quality similar to Sora, right? So the downside with these two models, Sora and Kling, is one, Sora hasn't been released yet. We've been hearing that it it uh, should be released later this year, OpenAI said. And with Kling, it's a Chinese app and you need a Chinese phone number to verify to actually be able to use it, right? So we haven't been able to really get our hands, at least the public on a public uh, scale on these specific video generation tools. I heard currently people in um, Hollywood or Silicon Valley or something um, were getting a bit of access to, I believe, Sora or something like this. But what we saw with Sora was huge. It took the, you know, ma the public by storm. And we even saw people like uh, Tyler Perry, who was supposed to, uh, had a, a $800 billion studio being built, he actually put that off. He's like, you know, whoa, we're not going to build this studio, this manual studio, when AI can just do everything, basically, right? It's a waste of money. So that is how crazy the impact of Soar was. Same thing, well, not same thing, but it's very similar, like with Kling. Kling everyone's like, oh, wow, this is such a great uh, tool. The quality is crazy. This is showing us that China is you know, really taking their AI seriously. People are wondering if this is a rival to Sora. And even with all these tools, even with what uh, Luma, which we're about to get into just now, it's interesting because you could speculate and say it is a rival to OpenAI, or we could be thinking, okay, well, OpenAI showed us Sora months ago. By now, it's probably way more advanced, and um, yeah, they probably have a lot of crazy, super, super powerful stuff behind the scenes that we're not even seeing, right? So anyways, without ado, here is Luma Dream, and let me actually go here to the homepage. Um, actually, I'd say they probably have one of the coolest websites, so if I just refresh, this is Luma Dream, loading up right here. And you can see here some of the videos, right? I can look at this. This is this is like really cool. Um, this looks like a video game. This looks like you're playing Call of Duty or something, right? And we're gonna dive more into this in just a second. Um, if you haven't seen Sora, I did some videos on this. I'm sure you've seen it, but here's Sora's website, and here's some of the videos on here. So you've probably seen all these or a lot of these already. And then here's Kling's website right here. Um, and here's some of their videos, All right? So here is Kling. And as you can see here, is, is there even a wait list? So, and yeah, so here's a panda playing a guitar. But anyways, let's focus on Luma Dream here. So really cool videos. And I'm going to play some of these uh, at the end of this video as well. And we'll check, take a, a deeper look at them. New freedoms of Im uh, Im imagination. Dream Machine is an AI model that makes high quality, realistic videos fast and text and uh, from text and images. So it does it from text and it also does it from images. It is a highly scalable and efficient transformer model trained directly on videos, making it capable of generating physical, phys uh, generating physically accurate, consistent, and eventful shots. Dream Machine is our first step towards building a universal Im uh, imagination engine and it is available to everyone now. So this is like really, really crazy stuff, um, especially once you see the quality of this. This is like insane. 
and uh high quality videos is from images like look at this really cool stuff iterate at the speed of thought zero seconds 60 seconds 120 seconds look at that dream machine is an incredibly fast video generator 120 frames in 120 seconds iterate faster explore more ideas and dream bigger so right now yeah they're saying speed here it is quite slow right now just because of the influx of everyone using it you'll see in just a second but um yeah typically it's a lot faster um right now it's just the servers are really bogged up right now everyone's generating images this is like blowing up and going super super viral so create action-packed shots your machine generates five second shots with realistic smooth cin uh, cinematography and drama make lifeless into lively turn snapshots into stories so just look at these really cool stuff and then dream worlds with consistent characters so this is one really good thing too that you'll see once we get into the videos um, one thing that we see with Dream Machine is it's actually pretty good with maintaining consistent characters. And this is something we've always seen image or um, video both struggle with. You know, if you see a different scene, lots of times it's like a completely different character. Or they're, now they're bald or they now have a beard that magically grew out of nowhere, right? So this is something good as we continuously see these models improve. And um, yeah, it's it's... It's nice to see, right? But it, it's it's kind of crazy because now things are starting to get really, 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 um, you know, weird. And capture attention with breathtaking camera moves. Dream Machine helps you experiment with endless array of fluid, cinema, uh, cinematic, and naturalistic camera motions matching the emption of contents of the scene. And then current limitations. So this is great because they even kind of like list out their current limitations. So they're not trying to like hide it, right? They're just like, hey, this is what we're trying to improve upon. So morphing. So this is something, yeah, you can see like the car as it's turning, it's like morphing from the front to the back. Movement. So this dog is just tell it like basically hovering right here. Text. So this is something we've seen many, many um, you know, video tools or, I mean, even text tools like Dolly and whatnot, um, uh, struggling with the text has always been a big thing. And then Janus, um, so we can see this polar bear here, this, yeah, doing that. And then to be continued. So, wow, look at this. This is really cool. Um, and then just some of the team that I'm talking about here, right? So careers community twitter you can check their twitter out their community is this a discord yeah so is it discord that's pretty cool you can join that um so i actually created an account you can see so ooh, okay so this is just discord if you haven't joined our discord check out link in the description you can join our discord and facebook group we have a stride community free free group right now uh currently it's free um, who knows, maybe pay it in the future or we may do a school, but, um, yeah, link in the description, stride, community.com. We have about 700 people on our Facebook and discord channels. So anyways, so we really have four options and yeah, here's a pricing. So usage data you have. So I currently, I literally just created an account. I haven't even used any generations really yet, but, um, you get 30 free generations every single month which is really good when you think about it um and because 120 generations is 30 bucks which is good but if you think about it that's just four times of uh, four free accounts right and then pro is 400 generations per month at 99 bucks so 100 bucks a month and then premiere is 2000 generations per month or 500 bucks per month Right, and it may seem like a lot, but if you're generating a lot of images, let's say, like, for example, you're making a anime, right? It's a lot cheaper to do this. Like, this is, like, a fraction of a cost, 2,000 generations per month. If you were, like, to pay, outsource that to a, or just hire a, um, you know, uh, graphic uh, motion design, like, all these, you know, editors and all these different roles that you would need to actually like create an an uh, anime or even a sh like a short video or whatever it's going to cost you um thousands of dollars most likely to compared to this right so 
um yeah and the free plan is i mean if you're just going to be experimenting with this or like this is pretty solid com like comparative to a tool like soar where we don't have access yet it's probably going to be really insane though but and then comparative to a tool like cling where it's just non-accessible and it's you know you need a chinese phone number um this is like really the first big thing that any of us in terms of public uh on a public scale get access to when it comes to video generation so i'm really curious to see how people use this um i'm gonna link i'm gonna place some of the uh, ai generated videos here for you guys but let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below guys once these servers so you can see here generations take a long uh 120 seconds however due to extremely high demand your request will be queued so just because of the you know launch and everything like i mentioned uh, i'm not going to go ahead and generate any images right now in this video i will be doing so in the future though so if you want to stay up to date on everything dream machine luma, luma labs uh ai related ai news as well as how to actually apply ai to your personal life to your business and you know ideally try to make it so you one you can you know build a better life for yourself uh be more productive as well as hopefully try to prolong or maybe you know not have it or at least prolong you being replaced by ai because yeah for all my you know like for all my uh motion designers or you know graphic designers and stuff i i definitely feel for you i mean yeah this is starting to really uh dive into that area so uh of you know where what you what your potential like some people's whole maybe livelihoods is reliant on their create their creations and stuff and this is definitely um yeah it's it's in their position it's really not good right so i mean who knows some people may maybe it's i don't know maybe it's a it's good for some who knows right so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below other than that guys i will be playing some of the uh luma labs videos so make sure to stay to the end so you can actually check out some of that and let me know what you guys think down below and um yeah we upload every single day here so if you want if you're new to this channel make sure to smash that subscribe button and uh, like the video if you got some uh, value. And um, yeah, I will see you in tomorrow's video, guys. Keep hustling, keep grinding, and of course, accelerate your stride. Take care.